Ugh, look at Miss Tammy. What a skank. She's free muffin it at a baby school. Hi, Stewie. Mommy's here to pick you up. Why do you feel the need to narrate every little thing you do? Oh, hi, Mrs. Griffin. You know, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about Stewie. I'm... A shoelace. That's crazy. Joe, that's been your answer every time I tell a story. It's like you're not even listening. Well, that's because you interrupted me when I was telling you about Kevin trying to hang himself with an extension cord. I know, that's crazy. Hey, y'all want to try some of our new food? I'm trying to turn this place into a gastropub. These are Korean tacos, because whatever the hell nowadays. What do you mean? Long in the short places, short in the long places. It should be from both the future and the past. Something a child would do to a doll. Sorry, I just prefer to do number two at home. Where were we? It's Stewie, Dr. Hartman. He's having trouble. Wow, when did you learn to cook, Glenn? Well, as a young man, I found that a great meal was the quickest way to a woman's heart. How romantic. I mean, how do you think NBA players get all those chicks? They're all great cooks. Except Kobe Bryant. His, his secret is different. Hey, where's Stewie? Oh, he's probably sleeping off his pills. What? Well, the school said he had an attention problem, so Dr. Hartman gave him a prescription. You're giving a one-year-old drugs? You're doping up a baby. Peter, are you okay with this? Will you stop talking? I'm trying to think about a girl I saw at the gas station. Yes, I didn't know it would require this level of emotional support. You Glenn Quagmire? I'm Carson, the producer of the show. Peter Griffin, I should be at work. Okay, let's see what you've got. I think you're gonna like this. Cedar plank salmon with a maple glaze and slow-roasted cherry tomatoes on a bed of mescaline greens. Mmm, not bad. Also, the... Wow, Quagmire, look at you! You're a real TV chef! I know. It might sound silly, but being a chef is something I've always dreamed about. I always dream about my house filling up with water. That's crazy. But anyway, thanks for encouraging me, Peter. All right, places. Summer mince pie. Oh. I remember the first time I had mince pie. Our neighbor, oh. Mrs. Morin, introduced it to me one afternoon. Oh, I had house sat for her while she was visiting her aunt oh, in Vernon, God. and she wanted to thank me. And oh boy, what a treat it was. You done? Yeah. All right, best two out of three, Cinnamon. Instead of embracing their mental gifts, their first reaction is to shoot them up with hardcore drugs until they're mindless sheeple. All the better to send off to Kuwait and feed the Halliburton oil machine, right? Bush. Yep, takes all kinds. You know, a lot of kids in my school take ADD pills. They say if you're lazy and unmotivated, it may... My wife can wear this to sleep! My wife can wear this to sleep! Okay, today we're putting together duck breast medallions with a port wine reduction. And as I'm walking you through the steps, watch your screen for Junior Chef Peter's pop-up tips. So, we just spoon on the drippings, and that'll brown the skin nicely. If you bang these metal spoons on everything, it's like stomp. Look at me! I'm huge in 2002! Peter. Nothing like a night at the theater that ends in a headache. Damn it, Peter, that's it! I can't do this show with you anymore! You're fired! What? You can't fire me! Well, Peter, since the DUIs happen so close together, we don't really have much wiggle room here. I suggest you take the jail time and just get it over with. I'll do it. After October 13th. Come on, Rupert. Wait, wait. The place you made? It's a medieval sci-fi universe adaptable to TV, movies, toys, games, and mobile apps. I threw together a 2,000-page treatment last night, and I just figured the hell with it. Why not build a scale model and record voices for all the characters? Watch. Well met, stranger. Arashka Dikaba Plitcho. That's a Nebulon mage. He speaks Gabi, this dumb language I wrote. Stop it! Stop the show! What the hell are you doing? You're just pouring melted butter onto frozen foods. You're not a chef. Oh, really? Then why do I already have a restaurant in Orlando's largest indoor water park? This is an insult to anyone who cares about cooking. Either you leave the network or I do. What? I'm not illiterate. I'm just slow. What are you talking about? I never tried hard in school because I could always run fast. So you're cool with being my chef helper for the big show? 
Sure, but I gotta be honest. If it ain't a fish with whiskers, I don't know what to do with it. But if it is? Then sweet sassy molassy. <laughs> Great, don't talk. Stewie, Stewie's Canal. You're here. We gotta get going. Going? Where? To Hartford, man. There's a book fair at the convention center, and George R. R. Martin will be there. Who? Who's that? Uh, Game of Thrones, Black Shirts, Dandruff, takes down more nerd shots than anyone around? Wait, is that the one I called fat and we can't fire? Yeah. Let's get this contest started. Big whoop, I can do that. Ah! Oh my god, Erica! You killed Erica! Fantastic. Be thrown! So, what do you think? It was terrible. Ah, you're speaking the language of the opposite goblins. <laughs> I'm very flattered. No, it's garbage. You just took a lot of pills, mashed together a bunch of sci-fi and fantasy cliches, and crapped out a 2,000-page turd. Y you could tell I was on medication. But there's nothing wrong with us. You're just lazy. I'm just excitable. We're, we're both normal. Now let's go home. Mm. 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 That man is an imposter. I am George R. R. Martin. Whoa! Ah, monster brains! Looks like Chef Griffin is preparing a delicious five-course butter feast. Son of a bitch, I never cook with butter. Joe, grab my recipe book and find a dish where I can substitute olive oil with butter. Joe, come on, hurry! I told you I'm not a strong reader. Well, that's it. If Chef Quagmire has prepared a dish of any kind, he wins this competition. Let's see what he has. A warm packet of tartar sauce brought in from somewhere else. When are you gonna use that, Bonnie said? We're a cooking show taken off the air by saying the one word you can't come back from. What? Say the word? Right now? Yeah. Together. Ready? You bet. <gasps> You could have just quit the show. We now return to The Autistic Postman Always Rings 400 Times. So was everybody excited for Father's Day on Sunday? Oh, yeah, that's right. I always try to avoid Father's Day now. But, Joe, why haven't you seen your dad? Well, he's a good guy, but we just drifted apart. It's no big deal. It's a very big deal. My dad's a stinking drunk who lives in Ireland, but you got a perfectly good dad. You can't waste that. You gotta call him up for Father's Day. Peter, I don't even know where he is. Who's ready for another beer? Hey, Cleveland, weren't you supposed to buy the next round? Hey, wanna see something? Check out how hot my last patient was. Oh, they look fake. Yeah, who cares? Okay. According to this projection, Stewie's adult height will be five foot one. What? Five foot one? Wow, Dr. Hartman, that's really short. I mean, I suppose it's fine if he's gonna die at 14. Right, great, but remember, this is a surprise for Joe. Why are you looking at me? Because you're terrible at keeping secrets. Well, I'm not. I'm great at it. Like when I was an OBGYN. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Hey, guys. Uh, uh, so, Joe... Uh, and ever since I was a little kid, he was constantly making fun of handicapped people. Really? Yeah, my whole life. My, my dad would ridicule anyone in a wheelchair. It was all, hey, spaghetti legs. And, hey, rigatoni legs. And, uh, hey, angel hair legs. He was a sales manager at Ronzoni. Is a nightmare itinerary. It was like 80 bucks, but he has four stops. Two of them are in Houston. What am I going to do? My dad has no idea I'm paralyzed. Well, there's only one thing we can do. We'll just figure out a way to hide your handicap from your dad. Hide the fact that I can't walk. Peter, that'll never work. It's worth a try. Come on, Joe, don't be so negative. I know you're trying to be rude, but I am going to do that because I find it enjoyable. Excuse me, I was looking at this. Sorry, I've made a decision to go for that shirt, and when that happens, it is on. Full throttle, man. Pow! Well, you're an energetic little fellow. I guess your mommy lets you drink coffee, huh? Whoa, whoa, I, I don't put... Because the doctor says that's where I'm headed. Oh, no way, man. The middle of the word short is or. 
or gives you a choice, and I choose not to be short. Wow, you need a road map for that one. Hey, hey, I tell you what. You spend the day with me. You'll see how great it is to be short. You'll feel like you're discovering a new world. And you know what's in the middle of the word world? Um, our... Ah, oh my god! Holy crap, he's out of control! Doesn't look real! Ah! Plan B! Plan B! Huh? Huh? Uh, kinda. Yeah. I don't care. Peter, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. Look, Lois, Joe is one of my best friends. All right? I'm only doing this to help him. Besides, where do you hear my Joe voice? Uh, God, I hate being stuck in this chair. That's Bud. Are you ready, Peter? I think so. What do you think, acting coach? I think you will be exemplary, Peter. All good acting coaches are insane old ladies. Emote! Hi, bud. Hi, Joe's dad. I, I mean, uh, dad. Liked when you sentenced those two girls to kiss each other. Yeah, all girls are lesbians when you point a gun at them. Boy, it's been great spending time with you, son. It's been great spending time with you, too. Dad. <laughs> oh, this'll be fun. Let's see how long it takes them to get Gumby over there into the car. Yeah, that's our neighbor, Peter Griffin. Well, yeah, that. And you can chow pie standing up. We didn't do any of that, but the point is, I'm at peace with being short. Full throttle, man! Pow! Hello? Oh, hi, Dr. Hartman. Mrs. Griffin, I have some good news. Turns out your son is going to be normal height. I read his chart wrong yesterday. Apparently, I have something called... Hanging out with someone whose teeth are bigger than their fingers. What? That's, that's barely true. Yeah, so, see you later. You are making a big mistake, Stewie. Nobody walks away from Tiny Tom Cruise. Yeah, except for all three of your wives. Okay, I'm shutting this now. Okay, so, bye. Peter, this is crazy. Nah, it's gonna work out fine. Oh, and remember, Joe, if Lois is feeling frisky at night, it's index finger around and clockwise. And just keep doing that to yourself until you're good to go. Peter, this is ridiculous. You can't live in my house with my dad and my family. I finished my latest novel. Splendid, Charles. What is it called? Oliver Nipple Twist. Ow! Oh, Charles, you bastard! Yeah, the dickens. It hurts like the me. So, anyone going to the gerbil's funeral on Friday? <sighs> Hey, what are you doing home so early? He's following me, Brian. Who's following you? Tom Cruise! I spent one afternoon with a guy, and it's like I signed an eight-year contract to show up at events with him and let him fake father a child. Stewie, I would think Tom Cruise has better things to do than follow you around. Oh, uh, really? Hey, Dad, what do you say we go play catch? And throw me some divers. I want to get grass stains on my school slacks. What? You're a grown man. I know. It's just so great having a dad. Well, it's nice having reconnected with you, too. All right, let's do it. Get away from me, you son of a bitch! What the hell? Joe, don't take that from him! What? How do you like that? You're getting your ass kicked by a cripple! A helpless spaghetti-legged cripple! What are you doing? You're my son. You can't let yourself get beat up by a guy in a wheelchair. Or even worse, with someone that I care about. One time, my legs fell asleep on the toilet. I had to crawl into the living room and interrupt Lois's book club. That was one of the shower curtains I ripped down. And I suppose deep down, I was afraid. Afraid that if it did happen, I wouldn't be strong enough to handle it. Well, Dad, I can tell you from experience. Help! Help! My dog got off his leash! Is there anyone who can do a pumpy arm run? Running, 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 run! Hey, Stewie. I'm here to help you for the next billion years. All right, good to know. Anyway, my dog ran around those bushes. I am on it! Gotcha! Is that Toronto Raptors hat? It was my Father's Day present. I hate it. I'm just gonna wear it for a week, then say I lost it. Anyway, thanks for helping me, Peter. Yeah, it all worked out great, Joe. Except I am still missing that one pair of pants.